Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon Another Story. In the last episode, we had gotten the Halio Moss that cured Han's mother's disease, and now we're off to find Zoisai Teastone. <sighs> what a great start. Okay, um, we will also be facing the boss of this level, or not level, the mission. And so I've done some off-screen training for Mercury to about level 16, which is, I think, pretty good for the final, not the final boss, but the boss of this mission. God, I hate these random encounters. I need a repel or something. Okay, so we're heading back to the lab, into the cave where we found the Keystone last time. No! It's hopeless. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Okay, looks like... Oh my god, okay, looks like we have to go all the way around. Um, I'll just cut ahead from here. Okay, let's make our way around. Uh, apparently Mercury knows that there's a cave to the east, even though we didn't explore this area earlier. So let's just make our way in. Downstairs. And you'll just have to go all the way to the end of this little cave thing. Where the boss awaits us. Um, I'm just gonna warn you guys now that the fu that the boss in this mission is actually... It takes a really long time to beat her. So feel free to just skip on ahead. I'm just gonna save here in case I do end up dying, which I highly doubt, but you never know. With my luck. Okay, let's go. So rude. She's Nabu, by the way. Um, during the first bo first battle, it's pretty easy. You just Aqua Illusion will do the trick. Yay! We beat the boss. Well, once. And here we have Nabu's backstory. I think during this entire thing, Ishtar, the girl who's walking behind her, is just spacing out. Ishtar's not exactly the brightest. Like, what are you doing? Talking to yourself. So you can see here that Mercury and Nabu actually have something in common where they're both rather curious in a way that they want to know. You know, knowledge is power, that sort of thing. Zoom! Where are you going? I don't know! Till the end! Let's go. Okay, this boss battle is gonna be very long and very painful. Not hard, just very... It's gonna take a really long time to beat her. Um, she does have a few special attacks. Toxic Mist, which you just saw, will cause numbness 
and you'll want to cure that right away because it does quite a bit of damage after each turn. Tempest isn't that great. Um, it hit me pretty strong just now, but usually it hits about, you know, maybe five damage on average. Uh, let's just. Oh, we shouldn't need to heal yet. Okay. Let's just hit her normally. Like I said, if you guys want just to skip on ahead, this is going to be a very long battle. And there's really not much to commentate at this point. Just trying to get through. Tempest is doing a lot more damage than usual. Okay, um, let's just... I guess we can heal her. EP. Do some more damage out of it. pretty lucky so far. Toxic Mist hasn't hit at all. And I think I just jinxed it. <laughs> now, uh, let's see how the other attacks hold up. Not too bad. Um, if, the, if this battle goes on long enough, Nabu will eventually run out of EP, and then she will just hit you with physical attacks, and she'll try to do special attacks, but she won't have the EP for it, so you'll basically get a free turn out of it. Yeah, here is where Tempest starts to really slow down. I don't know why, but it seems like the further into the battle you get, the weaker Nabu gets in terms of her attack power. I don't know how that works, but... Oh no! Okay, let's get her healed. And we should probably heal up. I wonder how much Aqua Mirage would do on her. That does more damage! I should have just used that the entire time. Jeez. Oh, it varies. It's the phone! Be right back! Okay, and we're back. Damn telemarketers! Finally! Yeah, yeah. 
excuses. Wait, I don't remember Nabu saying her name, so how does Mercury know her name? Unless if I completely missed it. Oh, stop moping, you already have a boyfriend, kind of. It's Luna, out of nowhere! Yes. And let's begin our mission with Mars. As you can already see, Mars is significantly stronger than uh, Mercury, so that gives us a bit of an advantage. We are in Nepal now with Sailor Mars. Okay, city of Rasa. What's going on? She just randomly goes into houses. She's like, what the hell do you want? Leave me alone, stranger. In these weird clothes. Okay, let's save here. I know we just saved, but... You know, just in case. Alright, uh, let's quickly go through this. Is there anything in here? I believe not, so let's head up straight. Hey! What are you doing here? This room is off limits. I wasn't doing anything at all. Sure you weren't. Just taking a look. Acting all innocent. You suspicious looking person. Oh come on, look at the way she's dressed. Die! Why would monks try to kill me? That's so mean! Okay, these uh... These guys are pretty easy. Just burning mandala and you're good. Yep, as you can see, Sailor Mars is significantly stronger than Sailor Mercury already. Well, when Mercury started out anyway. What are you doing? What? Well, more of them. What the? I can't move my body. The ruby that's doing it. Now! Do it! What did like ram her? Oh. Who's that? Who is that? That was pretty fancy. Are you okay? Uh. Jedi. Hareg, if that's how you pronounce his name. Oh. It's just my imagination. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna stop here for now. Uh, next time we will get on with Mars' mission. Uh, thanks for watching, see you guys next time.